Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For the cheapest and fastest coins anywhere, make sure to check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. So the All Man Edition comes out at midnight tonight. You might even be watching this video after the All Man Edition officially launches. And with it, we now have confirmation that you do get all 4,600 Madden points at the same time with it. It's not going to be split up at all. So I'm going to be going over now a couple different ways that you could spend the points, depending on if you guys are going to spend a lot of money, if you're usually like a no money spent type of player, and just kind of the way that you play. Oh, and also I'm going to be going over a poll that I got while, of course, I wasn't recording. But I do want to give a shout out to James Monaco for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Turn the notification bell on. Comment down below. Noti Gang. And also, guys, if you want to check out Underdog Fantasy, you can use code ZERK to match first deposit up to $100 and follow me over on Twitter for my picks. Make sure you guys check out all the videos from today. There have been a ton. And I'm even going to upload one at midnight of me opening up my pre-order packs as well. Now, before I go over the best way to spend your 4600 madden points as i said and this happens to me every year I, I just don't know why i'm so lucky slash unlucky that i feel like i can open up a pack and i won't get like a crazy pull it's zerk luck I, I really don't know what to say about it but with that let me show you guys something that i pulled when i wasn't recording but of course i hit xbox record then it got the clip so this is really just my luck when it comes to me not recording while i just happen to open up a random pack but you guys can see it 89 joe mixon so yes, I wasn't recording and I opened up the special pack thinking I would get like a 83 overall or something and we get 89 overall Joe mixing out of the pack. Could sell him for 245k and I probably am going to to be honest because as good as this card is, I feel like there's a lot of good running backs in the game right now. You could get like Brees Hall, Rookie from here or whatever. Probably gonna do a similar job. All right, so let's talk about what to do with your 4,600 Madden points. Now, if you are going to come into this game and you're going to instantly come in and spend $100, $200, $300, whatever, like I know some people will, they'll hop in here, they'll open up some bundles, whatever. Honestly, when it comes to what do you use your Madden points on at that point, you're probably going to get a pretty good team, right? So you don't necessarily have to worry about getting players for your team, which is something we'll talk about in a moment. But if you have those points, I honestly would probably do the Weekly Elite Fantasy Pack. I would do two of these. Then once you do two of these, you actually unlock the Pro Elite Fantasy Pack. I would definitely do that one. And then as well, I would probably do the Headliners Pack special here. Uh, I would do, I think there's two of this one actually, the 86 overall. I would do both of those as well. And then you have a little bit of points left over to do whatever you want with. But really, if you're not worrying about getting players for your team... I would truly just do that. But if you guys are just starting out and those are like the only points you're going to be spending, or even if you're only going to come in here and maybe open up one bundle, you may still want to take a look at these right here the starter team bundles now maybe not just the 4400 one but if you come over here and you go to special offers you have all of these available now i'm actually going to go ahead and showcase for you guys as well what is in all of these because over on mutt.gg it actually displays it but essentially what this is is you come in if you have your 4600 madden points you can just off the bat do this one right here now this is going to give you number one a hundred thousand coins okay so you get 100k to go out buy stuff with which is pretty cool and then it's going to give you one elite offensive pack so you get to choose one of these four packs here and one elite defensive pack which is going to allow you to choose one of the four packs here and then you're also going to get 15 80 to 86 overall elite players total really it's 13 because the two like 85 and 86 overall players they're displayed here so you get 13 80 plus overalls again i want to be able to show you guys though exactly what you can do now if you want to do this for offense and defense if you just want to you know what let me get a pretty solid team to start off you want to do this one if you're going to do offense and defense you do this but if maybe you open up one bundle let's say right and from that one bundle you get a pretty decent o-line maybe you get a pretty decent wide receiver core defensively you're pretty set 
Well, maybe you only want to do one of these packs for offense or defense and then spend the rest on maybe the weekly uh, pack here, the special offer, the weekly fantasy packs. You could also do that. So that one is completely up to you. If you guys want to go ahead and just completely fill out your team and honestly have a team that is definitely decent enough to go through, play your solos, to go through, play solo battles. I mean, it's it's kind of hard right now when it comes to some solo challenges. If you have a really, really bad team, I only have a 79 overall, and I'm probably going to end up buying one of these teams myself or just in general filling out the rest of my team with the coins that I have. But let me show you guys what's in every single one of these packs, and I'll tell you which ones I feel like are the best. Also, I don't know if I've mentioned this yet or not in this video, but if you didn't realize it by now with these packs, they're NCAT cards, they're BND. So the players you get you're stuck with so that is why they're only 2200 points per pack but again if you're not going to spend a lot of money if you're not going to have a lot of coins instantly these cards can really help your team so huge shout out to mud.gg for actually having this available for this video because this comes in clutch to help you guys out but if you guys go with the air it out offense you're going to get instantly a really good QB. You're going to get Justin Herbert and you're also going to get Ryan Ramchek. So your right tackle's pretty set for a while. Your quarterback's pretty set for a while. Uh, as you guys can see, you get Herbert there. Now you do get Cordero Patterson at running back. Okay. Not the best. Miles Sanders at backup. Not the best. Now wide receivers, you get DK who has only 83 speed. Jalen Waddle with 84 speed. Uh, Mooney with 82 speed. Marquise Brown with 85. And then you get Mike Gusecki and CJ Uzama at tight end. And then you also get a pretty solid O-line though. You get Slater, Roger Saffold, Andre James, uh, Daniel Brunskill, and Ryan Ramchek. I definitely think the air it out is a solid one for sure. Run and gun though, I honestly feel like is the best one for offense anyways. And the reason for that is, although you don't get Justin Herbert, you do get Kyler Murray, which is going to be a good enough QB uh, to start off your game, right? 83 speed, 83 throw power, 81 short, 79 medium, 82 deep. Speed is not like it was in Madden 22 though. Like you can't scramble, scramble like that, but it's still definitely good enough of an accuracy QB. Even though this is more about run and gun, you do get Saquon Barkley and also CMC, which CMC is a great receiving back, 83 speed, 83 excel. Saquon, only 80 speed on him, 81 excel. You get Reggie Gilliam, shout out to him. I know he actually watched the channel. But then on the wide receiver core, you get Jamar Chase with 86 speed. And this is a card that I feel like can stay on your team for a while with that 86 speed. Terry McLaurin with 82, Brandon Cooks 81, Robbie Anderson with 84. And then of course the tight end, you get Kyle Pitts. Like Kyle Pitts can stay on your team for a while. Jamar Chase can stay on your team for a while. And also Christian McCaffrey, worst case, can be a backup running back. The O-line, you get Tunsil, Justin Pugh, Ben Jones, Gabe Jackson, Braden Smith. Not the craziest, you know, not as good as the air it out one. But to me, I think I would rather have the chase, the pits, uh, get CMC as well, and still have a pretty solid QB in Kyler Murray. And then when it comes to the West Coast, you get Brady. I'm just not a big fan of Brady because he's just completely immobile. Alvin is pretty solid, 83 speed. Uh, wide receivers, though, you get Diggs, which is good. Keenan Allen, slow. Michael Thomas, slow. Hunter Renfro, even slower. Then you get Darren Waller, but there are just so many good tight ends in the game right now. I don't really like the West Coast one. And the final one is ground and pound. You get Carson Wentz. Okay, that's about as much as you need to know there. Then you get Chubb, which is only an 83 speed running back, but an absolute tank. AJ Dillon, so slow. Kyle Juszczyk, Adam Thielen, slow. Devontae Parker, slow. Jacob Myers, slow. Uh, this may be the worst. Now on to the defensive side, we have the man-to-man, -man, which I think is one of the better ones for sure. You do get Xavier Howard, who only has 83 speed, but he has 85 man. Denzel Ward, great speed at 86. Jair, 82 speed. Nate Hobbs, 83. You also get Marcus Williams. Uh, you get Jaron Curse. You do also get Honey Badger right here, but the card just really isn't that great. Uh, the D-line isn't anything crazy, linebackers nothing crazy, but I think really, I'm just mainly focused on that Denzel, 86 speed, you like to see that. Uh, the zone one here, you know, you get Slay, he's only got 83 speed, Griffin's got 84, Byron Murphy's 82, Legereus is the fastest, but his coverage just isn't very good. Simmons is a great card, 84 speed, 84 zone, Harrison Smith also has 83 speed, you do get Jamal Adams, the D-line's not really crazy, and the best defensive player here, really, or one of the better ones, the 86 anyways, is Demario Davis, so I'm not a fan of that one. We also have run stuff, which the corners you get, 82 speed, 81, 82, 83, 
not for me. I I I'm not really feeling this one at all. You get Adamican Sue, a bunch of just slow run stuffing D linemen. I'm not liking that. To me, I feel like this is the best one. Pass rush to me, I think is the best defensive one. The corners you get aren't crazy, not at all. But you do get, in my opinion, two of the highest longevity players that you could possibly get. Buda Baker here is cool. Marcus May is cool. But you get Chase Young with 80 speed, 83 excel, 83 blocks, 83 finesse move on the D-line. You get Trey Hendrickson who has 85 finesse move. But then you get Micah, who is just insanely fast with 84 speed, 84 excel, 85 finesse move. So if you guys don't choose Micah Parsons for your all Madden uh, team player, you know, the 87 overall, you can go with this pack and get 85 Micah and then get Von Miller as well. So you get two studs and Micah and Von Miller that I feel like can stay on your team for a while. With the rest of these ones, I'm not really feeling these ones too much, honestly. You get two studs there. Offensively, you know, I feel like the biggest one in terms of keeping these guys on your team is going to be Chase and Kyle Pitts. So that's really, in my opinion, the move for you guys. If you are going to go with these packs, I would say run and gun. You get Chase, you get Kyle Pitts. You get a good quarterback in Kyler. You get CMC. Defensively, you go with pass rush. You get Von Miller and you get Micah Parsons for 20 bucks. And then you get a bunch of other guys that can fill out your team for now. You'll have to replace them when you go to actually play head-to-head -head whatever. But at least you get two absolute monsters there. And uh, air it out isn't bad because you get Herbert. You get Ryan Ramchek. But I feel like eventually you'll move on from Herbert quicker than you would maybe someone like Jamar Chase. QBs just come out very frequently in Madden Ultimate Team. If I had to pick just one pack to do, I would say go with Run and Gun, and then you could possibly, you could even save some of your stuff to do stuff like this when you get up to certain mutt levels. You get stuff like this game day pack here, the 280 plus overall platinum patch. You could save it to do that, or just do the weekly elite pack. So with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like in the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. And let me know what your plan is. If you guys enjoyed this video, check these out.